Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Looking back to 2021, the resounding words of ASML's CEO still echo in my ears. If we don't sell lithography machines to China, China will be able to produce them in three years. Not only did ASML's CEO say this, but even Lin Yifu, a heavyweight economist in China, also made a bold statement that China will be able to independently produce EUV lithography machines by 2023 at the latest. At that time, ASML had to be careful, as its business might be severely frustrated, and there might even be a day when it would step down from the stage of history. So, has China's lithography machine made any breakthroughs now? To what extent has it developed? China might as well look for the answer from Huawei's mobile phones. Huawei Mate 60 uses a 7 nanometer process, and Pure 70 is even closer to 5 nanometers. It is said that the upcoming Mate 70 may break through to nearly 3 nanometers. The progress of this chip is the rapid iteration of lithography technology. However, who exactly is the foundry for Huawei's chips is still a mystery and Huawei has not announced it. There is a reason for keeping secrets, and China only needs to applaud, and there is no need to delve into it. Back to business, ASML is the only company in the world that can manufacture high-end EUV lithography machines. ASML is the exclusive supplier of advanced processes of 10 nanometers and below. Anyone who wants to make chips below 10 nanometers in the world has to ask ASML. Especially for China, it has become increasingly difficult to buy EUV lithography machines directly from ASML because of the obstruction of the United States. So, this determines that if China does not want to be led by the nose, it must be self-reliant. Speaking of domestic lithography machines, we have to mention Shanghai Microelectronics. This company is currently the largest lithography machine manufacturer in China, and the outside world has high hopes for it, hoping that it can compete with ASML in the Netherlands. So how big is the gap between Shanghai Microelectronics and ASML? What is certain is that Shanghai Microelectronics can already produce 90 nanometer lithography machines and has begun commercial production, which is a milestone. What is more exciting is that Shanghai Microelectronics is also vigorously developing 14 nanometer and even 7 nanometer lithography machines. But to be honest, China still has a big gap compared with ASML. Although Shanghai Microelectronics has mastered the technology at 28 nanometers, it has not yet been mass produced. ASML in the Netherlands may have fired the first shot at 2 nanometers while Shanghai Microelectronics' current top level is still at 90 nanometers. Although these technologies are sufficient to meet most domestic needs, the gap is not a little bit. Let's talk about the market share of lithography machines. In the global lithography machine market, ASML in the Netherlands, Nikon in Japan and Canon have divided up most of the cake. ASML's unit price accounts for 63%, Canon 32%, and Nikon also has 5%. And what about Shanghai Microelectronics in China? To be honest, the market share is almost zero. Last year, 551 front-end lithography machines were shipped worldwide, of which ASML accounted for 345, accounting for 63% of the market share. Canon was not to be outdone, shipping 176 units and taking 32% of the market. Although Nikon only shipped 30 units, it also had a 5% share. And what about China? Not included in the statistics, which means it is zero. In this race to grab land, China is indeed lagging behind. But China's manufacturing of lithography machines is not only stuck in technology, but also has a fatal factor, which is the supply chain. Lithography machines are not something that can be done by one company or one country. There is a whole complex supply chain behind it that needs to be opened up, including light sources, optics, materials, key components, etc. 
However, the United States often contains China, resulting in China's inability to fully exchange technology with foreign countries. Why is ASML so powerful? Apart from technology, it has a complete supply chain. You know, ASML has grasped the upstream and downstream industrial chain of lithography machines. More than 90% of the parts of ASML's lithography machines are purchased from outside, including Zeiss lenses from Germany, precision industrial machine tools from Sweden, and software and power supplies from the United States. A lithography machine has more than 100,000 parts, and behind each small part is the world's top technology, and many are still strictly monopolized by foreign countries. The manufacture of high end lithography machines is not something that any country can do alone. It requires cooperation among several top countries in the world. Unfortunately, China has not yet become a part of it. ASML has a strategy for these suppliers. It is not a simple purchase, but a control of the supply chain. ASML will engage in mergers and acquisitions, or at least invest or acquire shares. The purpose of doing so is to ensure that these key technologies and materials are firmly in its own hands, not only to ensure quality, but also to firmly grasp the development rhythm of the industry. ASML's strategy for customers is also very vicious. If you want to get the lithography machine first, then you have to invest in ASML first. This, give me money first. I will give you the goods model not only allows ASML to control cash flow, but also allows it to establish a community of interests with its customers. So if China does not have a perfect supply chain, is there no way? This is not difficult for us Chinese. If we can't do it in one year, we will do it in 10 years. If 10 years are not enough, we will do it in 50 years. In the five years when Huawei was stuck in the neck, Chinese semiconductors not only made great efforts to move forward in high-end processes, but also exploded their potential in mature processes. Looking back at the 1960s, the Chinese people relied on their own efforts and struggled to develop the atomic bomb. The conditions were so difficult at that time, but China was not stumped. In 2012, China's first aircraft carrier, the Liaoning, was delivered to the Navy in a majestic manner ending the gap in domestic aircraft carriers. In 2017, the domestically produced large aircraft C919, after 10 years of hard work, finally took its first flight in the blue sky. Along the way, every step was not easy and exciting. There is really nothing that the Chinese people can't do if they insist on doing it. The challenge of lithography machines is the same. Although it is difficult, Sooner or later, Chinese lithography machines will also stand at the forefront of the world. China is waiting for that day to see how Chinese lithography machines will shine on the world stage and make those who once looked down on China look at them with new eyes.